Hey there. So do you think that maybe you're too old to fly a drone? Well, let's find out. Okay, so are you too old to learn how to fly a drone? My answer is that yes, you can learn, but you need to have a plan. I know when I look back, so I'm in my 50s, right? I know when I look back, I, I learn differently now than I did when I was in my 20s. I need to be more organized. I need to be more methodical. I really need to have a good plan on how to learn a drone because you know what it feels like getting older and learning a new skill it can just feel like oh my gosh i don't have room in my head to learn this new thing it's you know it can just be overwhelming so tip number one is break it down okay break down what you have to learn so it's manageable so looking at flying a drone it is complex there's a lot to it basically i feel like you're doing at least four things when you're flying that drone so first of all, you've got it up in the air. You're watching the drone to see, you know, where it's going. Second of all, you're scanning the sky around it to make sure that there is not any trees or power lines. Third, you're most likely glancing down or looking down at your monitor because you are wanting to take photos or video. So you're checking to see if you're getting what you're getting. And lastly, you are actually operating the drone. You're moving it forward, backwards, that kind of thing. You're using the controls. So that is a lot. Now, I had absolutely no joystick experience. You know, I had not a gamer. If you're intimidated by that controller, you don't want to have that drone up in the sky and then suddenly need to make an evasive mood and, oh my gosh, which way is backwards? You know, how, which, you know, there's two joysticks. You know, which one do I move for backwards or left? You don't want to be in that situation you could really harm lives, property, your drone, that kind of thing. So before you fly, here's what you do. You get a flight simulator and I will put a link in the comments. I bought a flight simulator and I practiced on my computer until it was second nature. So that's your goal. So of the things that you're doing while you're flying the drone, you want to have using the controller that needs to be second nature so that you're not thinking which way which way do i go to go higher or lower so that will help you a lot get a flight simulator plan on practicing as long as it takes until it's second nature to operate when you're flying you could have somebody there as a visual observer it is and you know an official title a serious job where their job is to look at the drone and although you're still responsible for the drone, you're getting this help, which could really give you a boost. The next tip is embrace your age. There are so many gifts in your age, no matter how old you are. So embrace who you are and how old you are right now. So when I think of how I was in my 20s, I am so grateful for being a drone pilot in my 50s. In my 20s, I would have been more likely to have been impulsive, to have taken unnecessary risks, to um, have a meltdown or fly off the handle or just you know, have these uh, quick emotional outbursts. Now that I'm in my 50s, I'm more organized, I'm more methodical, I am less likely to take risks, I am more calm, cool, and collected, and those are real gifts. Those are really important as a drone pilot is to be able to keep cool under pressure. And another huge gift about being older, I think, is that I have more self-awareness than I did when I was in my 20s. So what that means is I am not going to fly when I'm not safe. For example, if I'm really hungry or I need to use the bathroom or I'm tired or I'm upset or angry, those are not good times to fly. So that's just another gift in being older is having that awareness. It'll keep you a safer, better drone pilot. My next tip is do yourself a favor and don't buy junk. 
okay? My first drone was only $300 and it was just a piece of crap. It didn't support my learning. It was just so hard to fly. It kept crashing. It was just so frustrating. And it wasn't me, it was the drone. So invest in yourself and get the right drone for what you want. So what do you think? Can you fly a drone at an older age? I say yes, you absolutely can. Once you make up your mind, you can do anything that you decide you want to do. And I hope that my tips help make it easy on you. And I wish you happy flying. Thanks for watching. My name is Liz Amazing and I am living full time in an RV as I travel across the country. I'm visiting all the national parks and checking out all the sites there are to see while I'm working as a drone photographer. Please like and subscribe my channel so you can follow my journey.